The pair were likened to the Ronaldo and Messi of University Challenge by one Twitter user. And we're also joined by Hannah Woods, who captained her team, Peterhouse Cambridge, to victory last year. And you've both become cult figures in your own way. <laughs> Hannah, why do you think there was such a fixation on, obviously, your brain, but also your eyebrows? Um, I don't know. I just have tremendously asymmetric eyebrows, um, which I think people thought I was being terribly arch and challenging um, when I kind of looked at Jeremy Paxman, but that's actually just my face. So you weren't out arching Jeremy Paxman? Uh, no, I was not trying to, but you know, that, that apparently was something that was achieved by accident. So what do you make of this series? What do you make of uh, Monkman's popularity? I adore Monkman. Um, I'm a huge um, Monk maniac, if that's how I can kind of name the fandom. <laughs> and why? I just think he has a kind of intensity and an earnestness that is kind of joyous to watch. And Bobby, you got to know him quite well, didn't you? Absolutely. So Eric's actually uh, become one of my best friends. Uh, throughout the process and I was joking with GQ magazine uh, last week that if I ever get married and if uh, Eric is a strong contender to be my best man. So what was it like to lose to such a close friend in the semi-final then? Yeah I think first and foremost my team we were in it to win it and so we were gutted to lose that semi-final but to lose to our good friends at Wolfson and Eric Monkman sort of softened the blow. It's such a long-running series, and I can remember watching it probably in black and white when I was a kid. Why do you think it stayed so popular? I mean, the format and the set have barely changed, have they? I think that's partially the success of that is due to the sort of constancy. In the modern world, things are changing all the time, um, and to have a sort of cultural icon, like Universe Challenge, sort of stable throughout the last 50, 60 years gives us a sort of sense of familiarity, I think. And Hannah, how much training did you have to put in for it? Um, we didn't, I wouldn't say we officially trained in any kind of formal way. I think we intended that, you know, one of us would memorise a list of prime ministers or, you know, one of us would learn about flags of the world. But in the end, we just ended up kind of cramming into my tiny uh, student house, my bedroom at the time, with a couple of bottles of wine. And Oscar would always bring the buzzers from the Cambridge Quiz Society. And we'd just watch old episodes on YouTube, kind of buzzing in with abandon. I love the idea of the fake buzzers. For the <laughs> How about you, Bobby? Did you have those kind of accessories? Yes, actually, in, in Cambridge uh, this year, we well, I've helped organise weekly practices. So on Monday or Wednesday night, we get all the Cambridge teams that have qualified for the series. And we'd actually have practice matches with buzzers with pretend Paxman so there were many actually Monkman Seagull duels off screen uh, beforehand and did you have that kind of training for yourself as well yeah similar so I think with our team um, obviously you need people who are curious to go on the show but once you've selected a team of four and you've got that curiosity it's trying to find out where the strengths and weaknesses are for example there was no point in me uh, learning the periodic table and Barton Singer was amazing or on that or Ward is fabulous at literature so I'd leave her to sort of uh, Dickens or Bronte. Uh, so I think finding out what people's specialisms are. And so last difficult question for you both, who's going to win tonight? Mm. Oh, I think it's too close to call. I mean, Wolfson... That's a politician Wolfson answer. have already beaten Balliol before, so there's no reason they can't do so again. But I think Balliol are just such a strong team and Joey Goldman is just formidable. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be very tight. Obviously, um, Wolfson are my friends, so they've got my backing, but it's one that's going to go right to the wire, I think. Well, I'm sure we'll all be watching. Thank you both very much indeed, Bobby and Hannah. Is the prospect of a united Ireland closer than in recent history? In the elections triggered when Sinn Féin left the Stormont government, nationalists made significant gains. And the Brexit vote has led to the possibility of a hard border, which is unpopular in Northern Ireland. Chris Page, our Ireland correspondent, has been hearing views from both sides.